Okay, exponent properties, third go around. 4 to the second, 4 times 4, that's 16. Negative 2 to the fifth, negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. I multiply all those, I get negative 32. I multiply those, I get positive 81. The reason why that one's negative is because of the odd exponent, but that one's positive because of even. Okay. So I take 2 times 2 times 2, that's 8. 5 times 5 times 5 is a 125. That page is uh, pretty easy. Okay, now we're, sol we're simplifying. We're not solving, okay? You don't need to solve. This is not an equation. It's just an expression with all these exponents and numbers. And there, none of them have plus or minuses, which is why we're going to use the underline with the three boxes. So I'm going to make sure every big thing has its own power. So that's a 1. Okay, so big numbers. i got 5. I've got x and y. Now remember, 5 is to the first, but it's in parentheses. So one, you got to take 1 times 4. So the 5 is to the fourth power. Now I have two x's. I have a 3 times 4. Comma, and then I also have a 9, so i got to do something with 12 and 9. They're both on top, so we plus. 12 plus 9 is 21. x to the 21st power. Okay, and then here's the only y. It's to the third. 3 times 4 is 12. Okay, I didn't end up with any negatives, so everything's going to remain in the same place. Okay, and then I can figure out what that 5 to the fourth is, like this. 625 times x to the 21st power times y to the 12th. Okay, my next one, underline. And I look at that, and my bases are, by the way, these are both now to the first power. So my big bases are 2 and x, and that's it. So 1 in parentheses means i got to take 1 times negative 3 on the 2. So negative 3 and 1 times negative 3. Okay, that's a negative, so switch it to bottom where it becomes positive, And that switches to the bottom where it becomes positive. Okay, the top's empty, so we put a 1. So 1, 2 to the third power is 8 times x to the third. Okay, my next problem, extend the line, because when you multiply two fractions, you can really just extend the line and just kind of treat the tops and bottoms as separate entities. Okay, so the big guys, the 9 needs a 1, the x needs a 1, the 3 needs a 1, and the y needs a 1. Okay, so look at the top. I've got 9 and 3 and x. On bottom, I have x. I already have x on top, and then I have y on bottom. Okay, Don't repeat the same letter twice. Okay, so 9, I take the 1 times the 2, and that's 2. you got to remember to do those numbers. That's a 1. 1 times 4 is 4. And then x, I got two of those. So right here, do the top one first. So 3, 3 times 4 is 12. And then go to the bottom. So 1, but it's in parentheses, so you got to take 1 times 2. Okay, what, oh, what should I do with 12 and 2? Top, bottom, so minus, and that equals 10. Okay, so x is to the 10th power. Okay, now the y is down here to the 1. It's in parentheses. It's part of that 4th power parentheses, so 1 times 4 is 4. Okay, I do not have any negatives, so everything's going to stay in its place. In place. Okay, 9 to the second is 81. 3 to the fourth is also 81. Times x to the tenth. Y to the, the um, fourth. 81 times 81. 6,561. Okay. 
know it's kind of odd we get numbers that big, but that's okay. Okay, and then the last one on this page, and then we have a story problem we have to do. It's an important one. So on top, what do we got? We got 3. On bottom, what do we got? We have 4 and x. Now 3 is to the 1. 4 needs its own 1, and x needs its own 1. So 3 to the 1. 4 to the 1. 1 times negative 2, though, is negative 2. And 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. Now the 3 keeps its spot, but these guys got to go upstairs so their powers become positive. Okay, so that becomes 3. 4 to the second, 16. X to the second. And we got to times those two big boys. 3 times 16 is 48. 48 times X to the second power. Okay, and then the story problem. I, I don't have some things on here that you have, okay? At a job, a person begins work with a base pay of $30,000 in a year. A person's salary is to increase at a rate of 3% each year. Find how much a person will be earning in a year after their first 10 years on the job. Okay. Two significant units, so the relationship between them is that X is the years, X is the time, and then money, okay, is Y. Per dollars per year. Well, something happens every year, each year. It's a 3% increase, so plus 3%, okay. So, because it's a percent, instead of repeated addition, where you'd have a linear straight line, you, have, you are going to repeatedly multiply by 103%, okay? So when I repeatedly multiply by something, it is an exponent curve. And remember, we repeatedly multiply, so x comma y. And then I'll be multiplying by the percent known as g to the x power and then y. Okay, so we begin with $30,000. And we replace the G with a percent, but not 3%. you got to take 100% and either add or subtract. In this instance, we would add. So that's 103%. Move it twice, and it's G becomes 1.03. Now I have enough to write the equation. I have 30,000. Multiplied by the percent, which is 1.03. And if I'm going to repeat that multiplication a bunch of times, we use a power of x, and then that takes me to my new salary. Okay, so x is years, and we have 10 years. That would go in for the x. And calculator time. 30,000 times 1.03 to the power of 10. And I get 40317 or $318. If you're different than me for by a dollar, who cares, okay?